Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. Hope you guys saw that right there. We just passed by, looked like Thomas Waite in the asylum. We were able to get out of Innsmouth, however, it looks like Brian and Ruth died in the attempt. We were saved by the feds, and it looks like we are in such better location now. Looks familiar. That lovely 1920s music playing in the background. Hello? Did I ask for your damn opinion? Remember who funds this damn nut house? Very well. All right. Ooh, needles. He's awake. Ah, Mr. Walters. Our friends in the Boston PD hold you up as quite the hero. Before you went all screwy, that is. No, we're being interrogated. I don't like heroes, Mr. Walters. And I don't care for your opinions, whoever the hell you are. J. Edgar Hoover uh -oh. from the Bureau. And considering your position, Mr. Walters, you best mind your manners. Now, what was your business in Innsmouth? Fishing? Just stomping in on some broad. I was feeling down on my luck. Needed the company. Ah, bullshit. There are only two types of folks oh. who visit Innsmouth. Criminals and fools. And you don't seem like a fool. Appearances can be deceptive. It's going back and forth. I can't move. I can't get up or anything. I see. Dr. Hardstrom, if you'd be so kind. I hear a machine. That's not good. Is it... Oh! That's... unfortunate. Wake him up. I'm, I'm awake, sir. And I know for a fact you're wearing frilly undergarments underneath that coat. Okay, he's giving me another shot. Just charge me with something. Yeah. Because I don't know nothing. This is not going to stop, Mr. Walters. So you may as well level with me. Yeah, he's getting... You're going to punch me again, I aren't you? I told you. It was nothing. Missing person case. And I needed the dough. Nope. Hi, Ramona. That is no bueno. However, things look to be going... See, things seem to be clearer now. However, yeah, there we go. Thanks, Doctor. Appreciate that. I was well, only checked in for hi, Thomas. Day, and I had to blow the joint in the early hours. We're just gonna... Seems the locals didn't take kindly okay. to my <laughs> There he went. For Christ's sake, Walters. Is it normal in your line of work to break a punk out of the can and breeze out of town in a stolen car? When you're attacked by fishermen, Only on yes. Good days, but not normally. Okay. No. You're less dead than the last guy I who was a there. Shitty night, Hoover. So I really appreciate you cutting me some slack. I won't tell you nothing, Kappa. What's the Bureau's beef with Innsmouth, anyway? Widespread criminal activity, Mr. Walters. And half the damn towns in Over half. Our government's never had to handle something on this scale before. But they won't sanction a full-scale operation without more evidence. My thing is, is that if they saved me from Innsmouth, why would they bring me well, to the I asylum the first? Story. It makes no sense. I don't see where I come into this. Thanks to your meddling, Mackie's gone missing. And he was close to something. Something we could use. Missing? What do you mean missing? So Mackie's gone. He was supposed to check in hours ago. Our plans have now changed. You'll be accompanying us back into Innsmouth, Mr. Walters, on a small-scale raid. Our target, 
The marsh refinery. Lovely. <clears throat> I'm not your lapdog, Hoover. I don't work for the Bureau. Okay, you're gonna recruit me and then shock me. Ooh. I wonder where those are actually targeted. Right. I'm not are you gonna punch me again? Request, Mr. Walters, or have you forgotten your past so quickly? A signature here, a signature there, uh, and we can make you up. Yes, I know, Ramona. I'm scared too. I could even arrange for you to have your old room back. Fuck you. Ooh, language, kids. Good night, Mr. Ow. Walters. Pleasant dreams. He's got a heck of a right hand. February 8th, 1922. The Feds. Night. During my interrogation, it became apparent that the FBI has been watching Innsmouth for some time. Mackey was the Bureau's inside man. Now he's missing as well. Hoover and his boys are going to mount a raid on the Marsh Refinery, and I'm invited whether I want to go or not. As if I haven't been through enough in the last 24 hours. I tried to tell Hoover what's waiting for them in that refinery, what's lurking beneath the surface of the town, but he didn't believe me. I can't say I'm surprised, I wouldn't believe me either if I hadn't seen it for myself. And Hoover hasn't seen what I've seen. From the questions Hoover asked me, the Bureau knows next to nothing about Innsmouth or the refinery, even though the FBI has been watching Innsmouth for some time. That's not surprising, since it cuts itself off from the outside world more than 50 years ago, and no one outside of Innsmouth has been inside the refinery since then. I guess Mackey didn't tell him much, or he didn't believe Mackey any more than he believed me. Hoover thinks that the old cold refinery is the main source of wealth for the Marsh family and is a base for some kind of criminal gang. He figures that a lot more gold comes out of the mill than is possible from the amounts of raw ore they buy, and he wants to know why. I guess I thought things were pretty simple too when I first came to Innsmouth. Now I envy him his ignorance. I must have been a sight when they found me. They certainly loaded me up with sedatives. They almost worn off now, but I'm feeling drained. Maybe when Jack was under the sedatives, he started doing his hallucinations and whatnot, and they decided to take him to the asylum instead of jail. I wish I could blame the drugs for the dreams I had while I was out, but they were just like the dreams from the other night at the Gilman Hotel. The dreams keep on getting clearer, more like memories. I'm getting fleeting images of other things, too. They just seem to pop up from somewhere in my mind for no apparent reason. I have no idea what they mean, except that I need to keep a grip on myself. I don't want a return trip to the Arkham Asylum. The raid is set for tomorrow. I'd give anything to avoid going back to that town. The feds handed me back Ruth's brooch, which they found in the wreckage of the car crash. Another painful memory. So Ruth and Brian did bite the big one, unfortunately. So, it's time for a lovely trip to the Marsh Refinery. Which, if you remember from Zadok's story, is the primary source of wealth for Innsmouth. And it has continually turned out gold, even though it really has no business doing so. Like, a gold refinery doesn't give out, give out that much gold for so little work. And it looks like we are going to have a firefight right off the bat. Oh, there we go. shows that you're a man to be trusted, even allowing for your stint in the nut house. I packed you with armaments. I demand your complete cooperation. Then why'd you Our reconnaissance reports that hit me with battery Sebastian cables, man? Marsh, the manager of the refinery will be out of town on business. He's left his son Jacob in charge of operations. Okay. We won't get a better chance to launch this raid. Our mission is to capture Jacob Marsh. He may be our only chance to get under the skin of the Marsh family. We must secure him alive. Yeah, this can't go horribly wrong. Even with Sebastian away, we expect the refinery to be heavily yeah. guarded. I'll fill you in with more details when we have breached the main doors. Jack, you better stay Hello, while my people with the entrance. looks like miniguns. Did you see that up on the roof? Get in your positions, agents! Keep yeah, the you see them? Okay, they just had rifles. Woo. Okay, can I get out? Someone, I saw a 
It looked like a flamethrower. Hold your fire! Cooper, get those damn doors open! What's going on? Oh, never mind, it's a machine gun. No, wait! Cooper! Hey, yeah. Okay, that was overkill. Get clear of the car, Jack. Now. Yeah, thanks. Okay, this is still part of the cinema scene. There we go. Now, do I have my weapons? They took away all my weapons. All I have is a pistol. So, let's head back around here to Hoover. Alright, what now, fearless leader? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just got shot. I'm gonna run across here. Did I get? Oh yeah, I got grazed in the arm. All right, they have covering fire. I'm gonna run this way. Got my C-3PO and R2-D2 on. What is that? Oh! Awesome. A way we probably could have went without getting shot. Hmm. Oh, the side door. Groovy. So, let's get through... Knock knock. No use. There we go. He's down. The area is clear. So don't shoot me. Or is it? I'll heal myself here in a sec. Well done, Jack. Mm. Wait by me while my men secure the area. All right. Check reception. That was a bad reception. It's locked, sir. Break it down, then secure the area. I want Marsh alive. Everything else is a viable target. Fall out. Fair enough. Understood, sir. And there's another machine gun. Every door. Okay, Hoover. What's the plan? I want to know where the hell they're getting all this gold. Come on, let's take a look around. Government doesn't care until money's concerned. Can I take this with me? Because it's a floor-mounted automatic rifle. Yeah. And I would like it. Now, real quick, before we do anything, I'm going to check the car. Now, in the last episode, I actually missed a Tommy gun that was in the salt refinery. One of the viewers uh, went ahead and let me know about it. I went ahead and got it because I had to start at the save point. The car has taken a severe battering. Unfortunately, it looks like they took all of my weapons away. So it didn't really matter in the end. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and heal up before this gets any worse. And we have plenty of med pack supplies, so I'm not I'm not that worried about it. And hopefully there'll be some I mean, well if they have an automatic rifle, then surely they'll have a shotgun, a Tommy gun, and all of our normal weapons inside. So let's spell there's a shotgun. And I'm hearing horrible machinery. What's going on? What the hell was that noise? It came from somewhere below. Yes, it did. A mug, a pack of smokes, and a book. Reception must get real busy. Alright, so... We're about to go a little bit psycho. We're fine, though. Oh! We got our rifle. This was my favorite weapon in the game, actually. If I recall correctly. It's great for headshots. So, where did they go? 
And I'm here in the elevator. And I heard the screams. We got sub-level access, receiving. Where'd J. Edgar go? Oh, there he is. Now, what is, is this the elevator? Oh, yeah, it is. What the hell? Oh. What happened down there, Agent? Did you find Marsh? Whoa, dude. What are you staring at, Jack? He was just a field agent. He knew the risks. The what a prick. From the elevator. It must have been shut down from the mains. You try the next floor down. See if you can find the generator. I'll secure this floor. Yeah, I have a feeling that the game will, uh, you know, end if I shoot J. Edgar Hoover in the face. I'll have one of those time paradox endings like in Metal Gear. I'm going to go ahead and explore a little bit before I head anywhere. Just in case there's any kind of weapons or something that I should be aware of. Oh. Oh, God. What the hell now? Yeah. Alright, receiving. I don't know if I have to go downstairs or upstairs. I, I was not paying attention to J. Edgar. Administration. Probably we're going the, ro the wrong way. It's okay. No worries. Okay. Oh, what I wouldn't give. Just pop you right in the face. The door's bolted okay. shut. Okay, door's bolted shut, so no good there. And this looks nice and secure. And... Is there anything... Okay. Nothing there we should be aware of. It won't open. Hmm. It won't budge. Hazardous materials. Ah, the gate's been padlocked. I can't open well, it. Well, yeah, I can, but give me a sec. Danger, high voltage. We want to keep exploring the rest of this place first before we decide to do anything rash. Alright, here's the way I came in. So let's grip let's get our Gordon Freeman on, rock out the mighty crowbar. Oh, I don't have a crowbar. Let's see if I can just shoot it off. There we go. I missed my crowbar. But I miss these more. Awesome. So, latch release. What is latch release? Oh! It won't open. The elevator carriage must be blocking it. Okay. So, the elevator... Ah, okay. So, we do have to go downstairs. However, we know what we need to do once we get the elevator cleared. So, let's get back down there to the ground. And I'm really surprised we have not met any significant resistance. Probably downstairs. I do remember we do... There are plenty of people to fight downstairs, though. Oh, that's a... It's a shame. Okay. Here we go. Marsh Refinery. Alright guys, well I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. We're going to be getting into some firefighting, and if I recall correctly, we're going to meet something very nasty down here. And we'll do that in the next episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, go ahead and click like down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.